Hey guys, it's Taylor here, and since fall is fast approaching, I thought that I'd go and do a collective thrift haul of some of my favorite summer finds. Um, some of these I did do some DIYs on, so thumbs up and put in the comments below if you'd like to see a full how I like to DIY or redo my thrift finds. So, thanks for watching, and let's just get into it. I have these, um, starting off with bottoms. These Aeropostale jeans, and I did a DIY on them. I turned into kind of like distressed boyfriend jeans, so I kind of did some distressed uh, pops on the legs, cuffed them, and underneath, if you can see, I didn't leave it bare. I put like a animal print underneath, so that way you flash a little bit of animal print instead of skin. And so I love those, and I wore them all the time compare it with basically everything. The next bottom that I have is this Forever 21 skirt. It just has this thick um, black elastic band and then it has this really pretty um, draped piece in the front. I don't know if you can see that but how it's like draped in the front and it's this really nice kind of like stretch material it's super comfortable. I'm um, so glad I got it. I wore it to my cousin's wedding with like a purple one shoulder top and it looked really nice. Um, I have this dress here. This is an I Heart Ronson dress. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's just like a little sundress. Um, I love the periwinkle with the uh, yellow and orange flower detail little bell sleeves and then it has like a little tie in the front with little beads. You can just tie it or leave it untied. It has a nice um, blue slip underneath it already with a little lace on the top. So this is really nice to wear and it has belt loops too. So I don't know, it probably originally came with belt but it's really cute. And I was wearing that a lot over the summer. The next piece I got I wasn't really sure how it was going to style it, but I just kind of like had to get it. Um, I love this because first off, it's like a play suit or a romper. It's this light denim kind of chambray uh, material. It has a nice kind of like sweetheart in the front with the lace and the button. And then it has these adjustable straps that kind of remind me of, you know, overalls and overalls are really and then it has a zipper in the back and it is, I like how it has like an A-line cut so it almost looks like it's a denim dress but again it's shorts or a romper place whatever you want to call it the next top is a Massimo top it's um, so where's the K from Target I love the, the purple background and the floral print of it and it has like a little pocket here and an explosive in the back I think it's really cute with the nice v-neck um, and I wear this a lot you can wear this Dressy or casual. My husband thinks it looks like a scrub top, but I don't think so. I really like that. Next top I have is this, I don't know if you can see it, super graphic. Um, it's kind of like a square box, boxy fit top. Um, I'm not sure the fabric of it, but I love the print. It has tan, yellow, has like a mint, like a turquoise green. Um, and that navy blue and it has like a little keyhole button in the back. This looks great with like tucked into a pencil skirt um, or with like my J. Crew pixie pants. Looks great with that. And just great for those easy days. You don't feel like dressing up too much. It's really comfortable. This top, I know looking at it probably doesn't look like much, but I planned on doing a DIY for this and I still plan on doing it. I thought it looks so awesome with like gold dome studs around the collar and on the pocket and it's a button up which I really like I can just tie in, the, I usually wear it tied in the front and it has like these really cool square, I don't know if you can see the square cut out of the sleeve the armholes are square it's really cool so I like that, I was wearing that like non-stop with everything moving on to sweaters and jackets, I have this George sweater, so it's recently from Walmart. I love the peach coral um, color. I love the open, kind of open weave knit, so let the breeze get through it. And it has these cute little 
pearl buttons. So I really like throwing this over a dress, throwing this over tops, everything. This is a nice little lightweight sweater. The next sweater that I have is this Lush sweater, which I believe they sell at Nordstrom's. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it was nice. It had like this big, ugly, like flower rosette thing on the side, and I just snipped that off. So I think it's a nice little throw over cardigan. It has like the longer in the front, short in the back, and the long, nice sleeves. It's nice thin material, so it was great. You know, shaded from the sun, but still kept you cool because it wasn't too heavy. It was nice white because I needed a nice long sleeve white sweater. Um, next jacket is this Old Navy um, blazer that um, I used to have it in blue, believe it or not. I used to have it in the light blue version, but I got rid of it. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, i got to get this again because I love the color. It's nice and neutral. Cuffed up the sleeves and added a little handkerchief, but it's really nice. The next um, blazer that I got was this Worthington Works um, separate. Um, I love it because it has a zip the front and then there's two pockets that are zipped. And I like to cuff my sleeves, especially if it's a little bit oversized. So this is just, it's not super tight, but just a little bit oversized. So I like the cut and the fit of it, but cuff the sleeves as always. Um, and I have some t shirts. Um, I was looking for a black t-shirt for a DIY um, that I saw online for the Brandy Melville like moon phase like tank or tee. So when I went I looked for a black t-shirt and I found this one. It was this athletic black tee. It was super black which I love because most black t-shirts that you find at the thrift store are kind of faded in gray but this one was not and it's super soft like seriously it's like it's kind of thin material, but it's super, super soft. So when I did the DIY on it of the moon phases, I think it came out pretty good. Sorry if it's really bit wrinkled. It was folded up in the drawer. But I think the DIY came out awesome, and I always get compliments when I wore it. And this is like my go-to tee because it's just so comfortable. Just throw that on with everything. And when I was looking for the black tee, I came across this black shirt, this graphic cat. Um, black and white, which is you know black and white was very in and then there were a lot of graphic cat tees but this one was completely different than any that I saw like at any of the other stores like Forever 21 because it has these glasses and if you're a fan of the office like I am I'm like this cat is wearing Dwight Schrude's glasses like I freaking love the office I love Dwight and this cat was awesome and he had to come up with me and it's also very super comfortable and nice well, that's all I have for clothes, so moving on to accessories, um, I have two belts that were my faves. Um, first one is this peach cream colored snake skin, and it is genuine snake skin. Um, has a nice gold buckle, and it's like a nice little waist belt, um, but you also can wear it around your hips too. This belt um, is cream, and this one is... Jacqueline Fur, genuine leather, um, nice cream. I love the gold buckle, which is what made me get it. So I wore this a lot with different things, and it's it is a bit smaller, so I think it fits more like a waist belt for me. And when we're on the purses, I have this purse. I love it because of the pink kind of faux after skin print and the flaps will come over. And then I realized after looking at it that it kind of looks like the Hermes bags. Of course it's not. It has little studs on the bottom. It's a nice structure. Um, the little thing in the front was broken so I kind of just pulled these up over and like kind of wrapped gold wire around it so it stay. And then I got this Jessica Simpson tote bag. Um, it's heavy because I got stuff in it right now. It has this kind of embossed paisley print, which I'm pretty sure you probably can't even see. But it's just a nice tote bag. It doesn't have, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, doesn't have really any compartments in it, but it's nice. Um, and for shoes, okay, so the last thing I have um, are my shoes. I have two pairs. I have to do a lot more pairs of shoes, but these ones were my favorite, my two faves. Um, first are these. 
black wedges. They're um, from Baker's. I love the wedge, especially the fact that it's wooden. It was super comfortable. Um, it's black suede, which is nice. It had these three layers of ruffles and a bow. I was wearing this nonstop. So, 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 so comfortable. Um, it was really nice because I didn't have any plain black wedges. The next were like to die for shoes are these nude like minimal kind of like sandals um, that are Markle Kors um, even though it's like kind of rubbed off on the inside but I could see that it was Markle Kors which I was like why would you give these up you're crazy I mean it had a few scuffs on them when I first got them but I kind of cleaned it up nice lovely nude patent leather um, I just love it because I was looking for a pair of minimal like angle straps kind of like the ones I've seen like on lulus.com and like dailylook.com and um, Zara but these were nice when I saw these I was like I've been looking for a pair of nude sandals I'm just gonna get these and then if I come across another pair that are angle straps and I'll just get those too but I was so glad to get these um, they make my feet look small which I always try to do because I have a size 10, 9.5 shoe, and this these are 9s. I can't fit some 9s depending on the fit of it. Um, they're not as comfortable just because of the fact that, I don't know why, like the little corner parts. But they fit, I mean I can't wear them all day, but I really, really love those. Well, that's all I have in my collective summer phase thrift haul. So, uh, thumbs up this video if you want to see more and subscribe, again, because it's free and, you know, that way you can get up to date on all my videos. I just want to say thank you again for watching and I hope everyone's having a great day and be kind to one another.